Everything else is acceptable. Demand it from everyone. Demand it from yourself. Demand it from the guy next to you. Remember last time, Johnny? Remember last time we played these guys? Uh, it's it's fun. I mean, it, this is special. I mean, this is what you you put in all the work for. If, if if I had to pick one game to win per year, this is it. Get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn ready. It's gonna be a show, baby. You know, uh, seven eight months of work and prep uh, preparation for for just for today. Us, they don't know the grind, bro. They don't know what we've been through. We've been through hell together. Bro. There's no, there's, there's no secret about it. We, we do not like them. In the Big North, talk is cheap. And when the defending champion Spartans of the Paul Catholic first laid eyes on their Week Zero opponent, the Pope John Lions, they knew they'd have to prove it all over again. But the Lions would have something to say about it. And when they met on the Pope John logo at midfield for a mandated pre-game handshake and show of kindness, it was all for show. Because in the Big North, talk is cheap. got the ball to start the game and after a modest gain on first down learn quickly that this Spartan defense is different. A sack by Danny Forrester led to an early punt for the Lions and the green and right were in business. On their successive possession Taquan Roberson found Rocket Hickman who gashed the Lions secondary set up a Spartan scoring strike to junior Teddy of Fool, who came down in the right corner of the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> to make matters even worse for the Lions was senior defensive lineman Blair Amrustemi, who turned in a game performance worthy of D1 status. Let's go! Turn up, Tom! Turn up, Tom! As the half wore on, Roberson took charge, hitting Johnny Amadeo with this bomb down the right sideline and down to the two-yard line. A great catch by the senior wide receiver, and the Spartans were knocking on the door once again. To Amadeo! Another first down. Already showed off his big arm, Roberson added the cherry on top with a gallop for glory, using his legs to push him to pay dirt. And the game for the Spartans ended the same way it had started, with Teddy Afool laying out in the end zone for a touchdown. The Spartans would add a garbage time touchdown. His final score was 48 seconds in favor of the Spartans. They run their record to 1-0 in early season. Uh, uh, part for me, I was learning to be uh, become like a, a varsity receiver. Now that I'm ready, like 
it's all gas now. Like I'm going. <laughs> I'm just, just from here, I'm just going straight now. We came here, we saw, we conquered. This outfield right now. Let me tell you, man. Me, me and these guys, we come out here every single day. 95 degree heat. We're out here killing it, man. We're out here grinding. Me and the guys been getting at the Ritz since last year, so we just couldn't wait to this day to come out and just show everybody else what we what we have when it actually counts. To, it's positive vibes and it, it helps us out going to next week and to the weeks after that. It gives us confidence and we gelled as a team today, which is the most important thing. Uh, honestly, we treat every week like it's a Super Bowl. Honestly, that's our mentality. That's how we train. That's how we grind. That's every single day in the weight room. We treat every week as a, it's our biggest week. So, you know, we don't underestimate anybody and we just we go in there and kill it every single day. We're going to practice hard. We're going to treat it like we're playing the uh, number one team in the state, how we come every practice. We're going to come hard. We're not going to take no team light as we did. We took Marvin Prep light and then. So when that happened, it was a close game. We're not gonna take no team light. You literally, you can't, you can't go into a game like Seton Hall against a team like them and think you're gonna blow them out. They, they work just as hard as us, and they also have some good players too. So if we just let up and go into that game like we think we are, we're not gonna play well. So we just gotta keep practicing hard, stay humble, and win next week. This, the leadership is, it's a, it's a big role, but the guys last year, they definitely helped me out with that. They taught me and now they handed me the torch and now I gotta hand the young guys the torch. Just like how we came last week, we practiced very hard. We was ready, very ready for this game and we're gonna be ready for this upcoming game on Saturday.